Blessings in Jesus' mighty night, mighty name. Thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for listening. Um, thanks for subbing me and and you know caring about what I got to say. I've got something that I want to show everybody that I think that uh, is important. It actually proves, you know, what I've been trying to say. And I feel this is where the Lord has been leading me after being so wrong about Tishri <laughs> in the coats. Um, and so let me read it. Joel 2. So if everybody wants to go here, go to Joel 2, 30 and through 32. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. 31. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said. And in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. This is proof positive that the rescue, it's, it's not a rapture, you guys. It's a rescue. It's a snatching. And so this, these Bible verses prove, without a shadow of a doubt, that there is an appointed time for the rescue, not the rapture. Um, the codes say, I know the codes say rapture. Uh, but it's not, I don't believe it's rapture in a sense uh, that it's without uh, the day of the Lord or the rescue. I think they're, they are one and the same. It's, but it's a rescue. And these verses confirm it because it says first that there will be signs in the heavens. Okay, there will be blood, fire, pillars of smoke. Then it says the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon into blood. I think this is the three days of darkness. And I'll get to that in a minute. Because, you guys, I've only heard the Lord's voice one time in my life. And it, and it was in, he told me, he said, there will be three days of darkness. And so this makes sense that the three days of darkness comes before the day of the Lord or the day of the Lord is, is the whole thing here. Okay, and it says, uh, be, it says before the great and terrible day of the Lord. And so this makes sense that uh, the, the, there will be three days of darkness before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And I believe this is the sixth seal event. Chapter 6, verse 12. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. And also talks about the remnant. It's it's the ones that's the wise virgins right here. So let's go to another one. Now, here is something else that, that I want to show. Everybody go to Psalm 81.3. And I want to show and prove that the, the full moon, okay, is the new moon. It's not what the Jews say and think it is. The head of the month is the full new moon. And so here is this proof, 81.3. Or if you don't like it like this, I'm just proving right here that this Hebrew right here and this and the Strong's number proves that it's at the full and then at the new. Okay, so it's at the full and it's at the new. 
our solemn feast. Now we can substantiate this right here. And, and I don't have it up yet, but here, let's go to this. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon, on our feast day. The new moon is the full moon. The Jewish people are not calculating the moon correctly. Okay? It's all wrong. Now, this is in my opinion, but I'm using the Bible to prove that what I'm saying is true. Now, having said that, I want to do something else. That's that's very important that that I don't have up. It's right here. Now, this is important because this is the Creator's calendar, and it's the seventh month. Now, I just read the scripture that says that the new moon is the full moon okay and, and I've spoken before that the true Sabbaths are the 8th the 15th the 22nd and the 29th Elohim substantiated his calendar or the way he is calculating time and this is what I'm talking about there were eight blood moons three I can't substantiate because they were covered with clouds okay but we can substantiate the first one and the sec the last one and the last one landed on the feast of atonement so folks elohim has substantiated uh that the new moon is the full moon and it's also the head of the month okay and so the the creator's calendar is the most correct thing that that i've got going on right now because elohim has also substantiated it right here all right now having said that so does everybody understand that that on our solemn feast day at the full moon the trumpet at the new moon you blow the trumpets okay that's right here find it again right here it is feast of trumpets this proves what I'm telling you is accurate okay I'm not pulling this just out of thin air you guys this is the truth so how the Jewish people are calculating the new moon from the sliver is incorrect it's not it does is it is not biblically accurate okay the 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 it's just incorrect okay now and then I prove it right here <laughs> okay now here is something else that I want you to look at also new moon also means Kodesh and we have Hebrew this right here the first day of the month lunar month Oh, I know something else I wanted to show you guys right here. No, it wasn't this. Uh, oh, did I delete this? <sighs> Shoot, I probably did. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, so... This is Gil Broussard's... Uh, chart. Okay? And here we have January 10 right here. This is where the red dragon is. This is the heavenly body. Okay, this is this is the um well <laughs> it is the the fiery red dragon of revelation, okay? And it's coming around and it's going to try to take the baby, all right? But the baby is going to be rescued, just like Joel 2:30 30 through 32 says, okay? Right here. Joel 2, 30 through 32, right here. Okay, there will be a remnant that will be saved, and whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be delivered. Right here it is. Thumb it down all you want. I don't care. Now, <clears throat> I 
Gil Broussard has this thing coming in March 25th, 26th, okay? Let's but let's do something else here. This this chart is just speculation. I'm not saying that this is when this thing is coming in. I'm saying this is a watch period, you guys. I'm I'm going off of I believe that the the rescue of of the Elohim's people is is at around the day of the Lord. I believe that the day of the Lord is at around seal chapter 6 verse 12 at seal 6, okay? And Gil Broussard has it coming in at or near Passover. Okay? Now I've spoken with a friend of mine, and her name is Norma. And there is two Purims, okay? There is a, 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 a Purim right here, February 23rd, where the full new moon is at, where this thing could come in at. Or there is a full new moon at the head of the month on March 23rd. There's also perm. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to, I should have had this up, but I, I didn't. And so I, I apologize uh, that I didn't have it up. But it's it's not going to take me but a second to get here. Now, what I want to point out is is that here is Purim right here, and which is March the evening of March twenty third. Okay, now I'm looking here. There's also another Purim that is. Um, a February perm. So right here it is. Um, February. Well, it's actually twenty third. Let me let me get that. Okay, I don't know where it's at, but let's get back to this anyway. There is a Purim here, okay, and then there's a Jewish Purim here, and this this Purim here is called um, Katan Purim or something, or or the Shushan Shushan Purim, right here, okay, and. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say, uh, folks, is that, why is that like that? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this, that the possible six seal event dates are at the new moon, full moon, beginning of the month. Why, why do I say this is a possibility for, for this right here? Well, let me show you why. right here this is another picture from Gil Bassard and he says that a third body when it comes in okay it will the Sun will eclipse it and it will be the, like the goat hair around this eclipse right here but the other thing that will occur will the, the moon will turn to blood right over here and it has to be a full moon okay because when it was three days of darkness right here. The sun and the moon were eclipsed for three hours, okay, because of another planetary body. This is the sun, the goat hair, and this is the moon uh, that's uh, red blood, blood red. Now, this is, I'm talking about the six seal event right here. And so, 
we need this isn't going to be an a regular ordinary red blood moon or a regular eclipse this is going to be made by a uh, another heavenly body which is the dragon the bible speaks of the of uh, another heavenly body and so i believe that the <laughs> the other heavenly body is the fiery red dragon of old and it will try to come in and take the birth right here but Elohim will snatch it first now I'm not saying that this uh, is completely accurate that's not I'm not endorsing the accuracy okay of this now I, I will tell you that this right here is 322 skull and bones right here 322 right here it, th that not that that matters anything but you know what is interesting about this is it's a Tuesday <laughs> so February 23rd is is a Tuesday that's when Jewish weddings occur um, it is the head of the month and it is a new moon so and according to Gil Broussard like I said is that we need in order for this to be duplicated we need a full moon not a new moon we need a full moon well a new moon is a full moon according to the Bible I just showed you scripture and so that's why I believe it will be at the head of the month. This this will happen. And so if we go back to uh, this right here, if this happens at the head of the month, look here. We have red. We would have a red blood moon. So what I'm saying, because this happened on the third day, th third day, right? We got one, two, and then on the third day. Well, if you look at, sorry. If you look at these right here, this is a Tuesday and one, two, three, okay, and then three days. I'm just saying, you know, it's a possibility, okay, is all I'm saying. I don't know for sure. I'm not saying it's for sure, okay. I'm just saying that um, where I'm at now with everything is that the rescue comes at the day of the Lord now I, I do here's something else I did want to cover really quick that this also I believe this heavenly body will come in after peace and safety is shouted now I don't know exactly where peace and safety is going to be shouted it could be shouted over here at the end of January and this thing could come in at January I don't know okay but the rapture is just is not just gonna happen the 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 rescue the rapture or rescue is gonna happen after peace and safety and then that heavenly body will come in and then the rescue will occur right here okay and this right now my opinion is not going to change on this because this is where I'm being led the, the the Bible codes confirm the day of the Lord is where the rescue is the Bible says that that is where the rescue is and these fixed points of reference this these vic fixed points of reference bring me to where I'm at now and and this is what we're waiting on we're waiting on a peace covenant peace and safety and that's going to bring in this fiery red dragon and then the rescue um oh and we do have some fixed points of reference we have the economy we know the economy is on the verge of collapse that's a fixed point of reference we know that um, the elites I believe they know something uh, is is happening because they are in a move to 
get all this stuff done you know the Iran deal the the Paris agreement the Syrian peace Jerusalem peace this peace the UN body is taking over and we have we have oil and the metals are crashing so you know this this whole thing you guys is is beginning to come to a head and if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, now is the time to get one because um, the the world economies are about to see the world is about to see some things that it's never seen before, and it will be worse than Noah's day because the Bible clearly states there there will never be anything like this ever when this thing comes. So repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross. You shed your blood for my sin, Lord. I ask that you come into my heart. Come into my life, Lord Jesus, and save me. Oh, Lord, I want eternal salvation. I want to know, Lord, that that when this, uh, when stuff gets to go really bad, that, Lord, you'll, you'll take me with you, Lord. Lord, help me not to sin. Help me to put all my idols down, Lord. Help me to uh, completely uh, live my life for you now, Lord, and make, and be a happy, or be a, uh, a righteous vessel that lives for you Lord help me to be worthy Lord when you when you call your remnant home in Jesus name I pray amen all right well I am glad that you prayed that prayer uh, blessings in Jesus mighty name thank you for watching folks and have a have a great uh, uh, time with Jesus have a great season of giving to other people those that you love um, you know I tell you Jesus was the best giver Jesus gave the biggest gift uh, of all time goodbye folks